you, you so you have African Americans now as landowners, and you you nicely show like how they're creating these own uh, communities and kind of create their own little um, entities. And I I interviewed, gosh, I think we published it last two weeks, um, say pages book on colonization and there was also kind of conversations about colonization into the American West. Um, so in part it it obviously these are individuals who lived in Oklahoma or in the Indian Territory who are creating these communities and you also have African Americans from the South moving into the Indian Territory, right? Mm -hmm. So are, are they how is they getting along with each other and also is this sort of how much are people maybe looking at these african-american communities as sort of maybe an escape from from discrimination in the south yes indian territory is seen by many as a racial paradise as a possibility um and just like we um said five minutes ago um it is like they very much see the kind of parallel that what didn't happen for them in the South is happening in Indian Territory. Um, and they want that for themselves. And so there is kind of a mass uh, newspaper editorial campaign where um, editors like kind of talk about the kind of per capita payments, money that freedmen are getting, the land they're getting. Um, there are speculators and people who come to various Southern communities trying to draw African Americans to Indian Territory and then later Oklahoma Territory. So it's it's very much a place of hope and often that is realized um, i mean black wall street is an example of a place that was a black native space that became an african-american haven um, sometimes it didn't but the people who talk about kind of the how maybe they didn't like get rich like they had hoped they still say it's better than the south mm -hmm. um and going to your question about the relationships between these two groups of black people, uh, there's a lot of intermarriage. So you know, certainly there was a kind of a common understanding of one another. Um, at the same time, there were other people who looked at these other black people as encroachers. Um, because when you have these black people migrating in mass to this space, some native people get afraid. So some tribal governments are afraid that they're gonna be overwhelmed by these black people. Um, you have, racist legislators who see kind of black presence in native nations as something that kind of muddies the waters and like oh are these people indian anymore if they have so many native people um who are like intermarrying with black people and so it's it's a question of survival for native tribes but it's also um a question of racism i mean because they don't kind of have the same arguments for white settlers until later when they become really scared mm -hmm. 